hey guys today we are going to see how we can integrate OpenCV with android app so let's get started first of all let's open the android studio and here you have to open your safari or chrome whatever browser you use and on that search for OpenCV release and go to the first link with opencv.org slash releases i will also leave a link to this page in down description now you come in over here and uh, see that latest version is 4.6.0 and you can just download any anything else also but i'll go with 4.6.0 and click on android it is going to open source forge link and it should be automatically downloaded in five seconds if not just click on re-download okay so over here you see that it is started to download i have already downloaded so i'm not going to download it let's close this and go to the folder wherever it is downloaded in my case it's in downloads and this is the folder which we have downloaded if you are using linux or windows it should be a zip file you have to extract that file and you should have this folder over here now once you have this you are good to go so our android studio is already open now i will create a new project to show you so let's create on new project and empty activity and let's say open cv integrate you can name it whatever you want now let's give it some time to load all right so it is loaded now you have to click on file new import module and click on this folder and in our case it's in downloads and open cv dash android dash sdk click on that and click on sdk folder and click open that's it once you click open now you have to give the module name so let's give module name as open cv you can give whatever you want now click on finish so upon you click on finish you should be uh, good to go but we are getting an error which says that plugin with id kotlin android not found and it should open this build.gradle file over here so what you have to do to solve this let me just going over here and just paste this line so i will also add this in down description so that you can just copy this and paste it over here above this apply and once you copy this click on try again and this time it should be successful and in your case if you are doing this for first time it should take a lot of time to download all the libraries and kotlin for you and in my case i have already uh, integrated it so many times so it is already downloaded so be patient it should take around uh, 1 to 2 gb of internet and about depending on the speed of your internet the time required now one more thing is left is this target sdk version so you have to go in your gradle scripts and open this build.gradle module opencv underscore integrate dot app this one and over here you see that target sdk is 32 so let's copy this and paste this target over here and compile sdk version over here is 32 so let's say do the same thing over here also and minimum sdk version is 24 so let's come in over here and click on add 24 over here so let's save this and we have made the changes so let's click on sync now all right so this step i guess not necessary but still you do this it is uh, recommended now the last step you have to do click on file go to project structure go to dependencies and click on all module and go to the right side this all dependencies tab click on plus icon module dependency click on app click ok and tick this open cv and if you have changed the name when we were adding the module so in your case it should be something over here and in our case it's open cv click on ok and click apply and click ok all right that's it how you integrate open cv with your project now let's check if the open cv is integrated or not so let's come into this main activity dot java and over here we'll check if open cv loader so you see that we are getting the classes and functions of the open cv class so open cv module so let's click on this dot init debug so this checks this initializes the debug and checks if the open cv is loaded or not so let's check if it is loaded we say log dot d and load it success and in the else part we will just copy this and we would say error so let's try running this and check if it is successfully loaded or not so i will just open the locket also okay so the build is successful it took around one minute and 30 seconds in your case it should be more or less depending on the speed 
so let's go into the log cat and let's see the loaded if it is loaded or not okay so you see that we are getting the success it is loaded successfully so this is it for this video this is how you can integrate OpenCV with android app